and we are back thanks for clicking on the link welcome to good energy enjoy the content and everyone have a blessed day May Day. This is a special preview prediction video where all players have took cover in the safe haven of New York City. Cleveland, Ohio is under attack. Russia and Belarus have joined forces as allies to invade and conquer the USC. They took station in Cleveland, Ohio, where Sasnovich from Belarus, Samsonov from Russia. They've conquered all players and now have declared war on each other. The sister countries have been foes for quite some time. Get ready for a war. And Samsonova wants to regain what's hers. She's 5'11", 23 years old from Russia. She's 19 and 14 on the season. She went 3 and 4 in clay, but the big match was in Stuttgart against Iga Swiatek. As a 15 to 1 underdog, she stole the first set and pushed Iga to the brink, almost ruining the win streak. Iga survived that test barely, but I imagine she needed a mental coach after that one. She'd head on to Washington DC, taking out at least Mertens in the first round. She'd conquer Island Isla with her heat-seeking blasters, blew her off the court. And Marana Kanu, US Open champion, was smoked in straight sets. And she'd go on to conquer Fort Washington DC, taking out Kaya Kanepi in the final. Her nine match win streak continued against the veteran Sigmund. She told her to park that old Chevy in the garage. She take out Magda Lynette from Poland and send her back with a bucket of water. She took out the hottest player on tour, Bernard Pair, and cooled off her heat seeking rockets. Ludmilla Samsonova is going to have a tough test coming up against Sasnovitz. Ludmilla is 45th on the tour in aces, and that's nine spots behind Sasnovitz. Ludmilla averages 6 aces per match and wins 78% of her service games. She returns winners at 26% and gets 69% of her first service in play. She breaks opponents from the pressure at 42% and saves a whopping, astonishing, amazing 63% of all break points that she faces. She's going to be taking on former ally turned foe Alexandra Sasnovich from Belarus. Sasnovich hasn't smiled since 2017 and she's going for her first WTA championship. Ever. Her mother told her she would never be champion and laughed at her. Sassavis has the opportunity to prove her wrong. She's 34 and 16 on the season, 17 and 6 on hard, and this win will be the biggest of her career. We've seen her run off four wins in a row, taking out Krunik, Sarah Cerebus Termo, Madison Bringle, and Bonjour Comatele Vu. She sent Elisa Cornet packing to France with a bottle of wine. Sasevich is a silent assassin. She doesn't smile or show any emotion while playing. She's ranked 24th on tour in breakpoint percentage. In her last two matches, she has won 75% of her breakpoints. That's right, she's gone 18 for 25 in breakpoints her last two matches. Wow. Sasevich has won 73% of her return points at last few matches while Samsonova sits outside of the top 40 on the year. Ouch. Samsonova is on a 9 match win streak, but don't forget before that she was 10 and 14 with a horrible loss to Camilla Rakimova. That was ugly. Camilla's the lucky loser, barely getting into the US Open draw. But all it takes is the week to turn your season around, just ask Bernard or Para. Samsonova's on 9 in a row and she's now a winner. Sasevich is no loser to winning streak, starting off Australia hot and blazing. This match, both ladies want this championship and I expect it to be a war. Samsonova is a pattern player. She picks her shots with expertise and precision. Sasevich is a hustler. She's athletic and she'll do anything she can to win a point. She'll hit a drop shot, she'll kill you with a forehand, and she'll even go toe to toe if she can with a backhand. This is going to be a match and I know exactly what's going to happen. Click the donation link, leave your email for an official prediction. This makes 21 out of 24 locks and I'm more confident than ever with this one. The season's almost over and so is Serena's career.